Hello and welcome to the New Indian Express. So we are in Mumbai in an RCB press conference, and we have with us one of the greatest to update the game, Alice Perry. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. How has been? You know, the past week uh, lifting the World Cup trophy and then uh, here for the WPL. How has been? How are you managing that? Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind week, but um, yeah, super exciting. Um, it was nice to to have the success that we did over in the World Cup, and we had a, a day or two to celebrate that as a group, which was which was particularly awesome. And then you know, fourteen of us flew across all together to to Mumbai, um, you know, to sort of go our separate ways with our each of our WPL teams. And um, yeah, since then it's sort of just been like hit the ground running, meeting lots of new teammates, bit of training, and and certainly doing lots of other things off the field for for the club, which has just been amazing to get to know. Um, you know what RCB is all about, and 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 all the people involved. So, but have you have you been able to get the you know kind of rest you needed? I mean, having won all the trophies that you have won. Yeah, I slept really well both nights that I've been here, so that's been great. Um, yeah, and it's I, I think it's kind of good to to keep going in a way, and um, yeah, as I said, sort of hit the ground running. I, it's not hard to be excited for this or to get up and about because um, yeah, it's a pretty exciting journey ahead. Before we, you know, talk about the WPL, I want to uh, ask you about something that I, I was there in one of the slate nights on Sunday at Newlands. Uh, there was a huddle in the middle of the ground about ten minutes past eleven, if I'm not wrong, and then uh, some chatters. And I, I, I was in a very, very distant view. But uh, was that someone who was lifting you and the celebration of sorts that was going on? Oh, oh um. I think what you're talking about is Grace Harris trying to tackle me. Um, I don't know if your listeners know who Grace Harris is, but she's about six foot tall and um, very strong. And um, I thought it'd be a good idea for uh, for me to try and run past her, a bit kabaddi style, I guess. And uh, yeah, she uh, she got a hold of me. <laughs> you weren't very successful from what we saw. No, I wasn't. No, I never was going to be either. It was a um, yeah fruitless sort of endeavor. But anyway, it was good fun. Uh, coming back to the WPL, it's you're in a franchise that's been here for more than a decade. Uh, so, how much have you followed the men's IPL and this particular franchise? Yeah, um, sort of like, funnily enough, I suppose a bit of fate. I was actually at the first ever IPL game at Chinnaswamy Stadium when RCB played against Kolkata, and Brendan McCullum scored 150 in that game. And um, yeah, I happened to be there on a, a cricket trip with New South Wales, mm-hmm. which is where I'm from back home. And it was an underage trip. And I just remember sitting in the stands that night and it was absolutely mental. And um, yeah, so I guess to fast forward, you know, however long, 16 years or just yeah. about um, since then. And like, yeah, to be here um, wearing an RCB top and, and about to play the first ever game for the, for the WP, WPL for them is um, pretty cool. In many ways, it does feel like a co- full circle for you, you know, from there to here and also uh, the stop you did against Sophie Devine in the World Cup final uh, and uh, what you did against India in the la- penultimate over on the field. Uh, so, you've been around for 16 years, but does it feel like a full circle of sorts at any point in time for you? <laughs> I hope it's not a full circle yet because um, I'd like to keep playing for a bit longer if people want yeah. me around. But, um, oh yeah, it's funny how things happen throughout your career and... You know, obviously, I played against so for a long period of time. Um, you know, playing for Australia and her for New Zealand, but I've also had the chance to play with her at Birmingham Phoenix um, in the hundred, which is uh, amazing. And and just getting to know her around cricket, she's one of the coolest people and um, just a genuine legend of the sport and brings so much energy and um, passion and just such a cool attitude to things. Um, you know, I guess equally like just um, you know playing so much cricket, like things are bound to happen. So, um, yeah, having played so much against India recently and, and, like, we've had the most amazing tussles in so many games, um, you know, whether that's T20 World Cup finals, the Com games, um, bilateral series. So, yeah, to now be playing here with um, someone like Shmiti or, or Richa, Renuka, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, before, before you know, getting into what WPVL is, I, and I wanted to ask, uh, whenever the Indian players, you know, tour to WBBL or the 100, often it's a lot more relaxed atmosphere for them. There is not much of a press. Uh, for them, it's all about, you know, learning from the experience, getting to see how the other people work. But it can, it's kind of completely opposite when overseas players come here. How does it look for you here? Yeah, it's just a different level here. Uh, obviously, the interest in cricket in India is probably like unrivaled by anywhere else in um, 
in the world. So, yeah, like, I mean, even just coming here, we've got two busloads of people that go to training. In, mm. in Australia, we struggle to fill one bus when we go to training. Um, there's just so many people around and it creates a lot of, like, atmosphere and colour and excitement. And, um, yeah, sometimes you sort of, like, trying to, like, make sense of it all and other times it's just um, completely, like, awesome. So, um, yeah, it's just an amazing experience all around. Your 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 evolution as a T Twenty player or as a cricketer is nevertheless been incredible to watch. And uh, you're someone who how does how do you do that first? And the second is you're someone who's made a habit of winning trophies, and this team hasn't won an IPL trophy yet. So uh, yeah, we were reminded of that last night actually, and. Um... Yeah, I mean, ugh, look, I've been really fortunate to play in wonderful teams with such wonderful players and I think if you're around for long enough, you sort of have the chance to be successful at different times. But, you know, in amongst that, probably the things that you value most are like the really great lessons that you learn along the way from, you know, potentially, you know, losing a really important game or things not going the way that you'd like to. And um, I think that's the part that I probably you know, in a way love the most because I think you find out a lot about yourself as a human being and, um, you know, the potential that we all possess. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just been a great experience and um, I'd love to love to be successful with this team, hopefully in the first year, um, but we'll just see how it goes. Have you learned the slogan of this team? <laughs> uh, um, just remind me. Isa la kap namde. No, I, look, I was learning a lot of... Um, Canada this morning and trying to trying to speak um, lots of different words. I haven't quite got the slogan down pat, but um, it's a work in progress. Thank you so much, Chilis, for joining the New Indian Express and uh, wish you and RCB all the very best for the season and uh, good luck.